with a basin and a shovel. Ivan wades into the stream and starts digging. These rudimentary tools are his family's lifeline. He's engaging in the risky business of artisan gold mining to be able to afford basic provisions for both himself and his family. Working for more than eight hours a day, it is a tiresome occupation, especially for an 11-year-old. But the outcome of earning up to four U.S. dollars a day is far too satisfying for a boy's age. Ivan lives in Uganda's eastern district of Busia, where over 62% of the population lives on less than a dollar a day. It is hard when you are getting dirty gold, you first get the best and you start working very hard. After that, you get gold. Uh, and other times, you cannot get. After giving us money, we use for buying clothes. That times, we use for just eating, buying shoes. The World Bank regards this village in eastern Uganda as the biggest gold mine deposit in eastern Central Africa. But there is nothing to show that Busia holds 52 square miles of gold. 16 kilometers west of the Kenyan border, it is a mere shadow of the immeasurable mineral wealth it holds. The people here wallow in abject poverty, hence forcing parents to let their children drop out of school in favor of the more lucrative mining. You know, there when they go there, some can even get some money and they went to town, something like that, he doesn't want to go to school, maybe when he has some 20,000 per day, so he doesn't mind about school. Parents, however, blame the high dropout rate on schools charging high tuition fees, despite the fact that the Ugandan government offers free education programs. As a measure against the practice, Busia district authorities have implemented a fine of 50,000 Uganda shillings, about 20 US dollars for parents whose children are found working in the mines. Uganda's gold industry has seen radical increase in gold production. In 2005, gold made up to 9% of the country's exports according to Revenue Watch. In 2006, gold brought in 122 million US dollars. Gold appears to be widely distributed throughout Uganda, but it has been exploited by artisan miners in a few areas. When these miners strike gold, they can earn up to $100 a day, a pretty sum in a country where majority of the population lives under a dollar a day. Alan Chiro, CCTV, 